Hi, thank you. I'm very tall, so I guess I'll be doing this a little bit for this presentation. Um, it's nice to be in the room with developers now, because I feel like we've been the boring ones at this conference talking about data, which is not typical, because I'm more used to hackathons where I feel somewhat cool, but <laughs> it's, it's nice to be here. Um, so yeah, data is more important than ever um, in all aspects of life, but especially in Web3. Um, Covalent is the company that I work for that I'll talk a little bit about, which um, focuses on exclusively blockchain data. So everything on chain and making that accessible um, for developers, but also for creators and for other people that might be attending conferences like this. Um, so let me point it. There we go. What we are is basically an API company. Um, I think a lot of people here are in development because I saw people raise their hands earlier, but um, we provide an interface so that you can work with data on multiple different blockchains. So that's kind of the selling point is that if you're a user in Web3 um, and you have assets on one chain and another chain, um, standardizing the response that you can get to build an application can be really challenging. Some of you might be familiar with like uh, learning different languages, for instance, if you're moving to the Solana ecosystem versus Ethereum. Um, and there's just really a lot of challenges when it comes to data in general, but especially in Web3, you find that it's kind of messy, which is ironic because the ethos of this space is that it's publicly available and everything is, uh, yeah, accessible, when in reality, working with it can be quite a bit trickier. So that's the problem that we're focused on solving at Covalent. Um, basically, you can change a chain ID and you can switch between, uh, switch between chains that you want to develop on. You can loop new chains into your project once we index. So um, we're at about 35 different blockchains right now, and you actually don't need to code to be able to use it. So we launched an analyst mode that you can um, download responses in a spreadsheet format, and you can actually just run it in the browser to see the kind of responses that you might want to get. Um, and this supports a lot of use cases. So typically, we're talking about wallets. Um, but recently, in the past year, we've seen so many NFT galleries um, and a lot of just different use cases that I'm going to kind of get into in a little bit. Um, so this is just an insight that I wanted to share. I don't know how big it's going to be. I think it's okay. Um, but basically what we did a couple weeks ago is just analyze the token holders uh, of a bunch of the top NFT collections across some different chains just to see what the real trends kind of are. Um, so these are insights that are made possible when you have access to data because rather than relying on Twitter or just a lot of the noise in this space, which I find it really overwhelming. I don't know how people like find NFT collections and really evaluate them other than social proof. Um, so what you can do is actually analyze different holders and the trends and how they've increased or decreased. Um, and we found something kind of cool, which was that despite this obviously very red market, um, the token holders of the popular collections are actually growing. So I guess that's kind of a positive sentiment that people are still buying in, uh, even though we're in quite the predicament lately. Um, so these are examples of some of the insights that you can do just as an analyst. Um, and you can also examine things like wash trading, for instance. So there's companies that use our data um, to decide or to evaluate whether or not an NFT collection is primarily propped up by wash trading or by, I guess, like other illicit activities. Um, and I think in the next couple of years, if this is teaching us something, it's that regulations are becoming more and more important, whether we like them or not. Um, and it's... I don't know, it's not gonna stay this easy kind of to make money forever. So what we provide for NFT specifically um, is a suite of NFT endpoints, but you can also, again, go to our docs and you can see that we have balances endpoints, transactions, you can really get any on-chain historical granular data um, and you can make your own insights or you can build a project that can um, maybe take you somewhere from this hackathon, well, not a hackathon, New York is next week, maybe some of you are there, but. Uh, but the idea is that anybody should be able to be literate and, and basically examine their own on-chain activity. So you don't have to rely on external tools because Web3 is all about ownership. Um, so a part of that is being able to navigate it yourself, I think, and not rely on other tools or Twitter or, I don't know, just kind of these noisy signals. So really looking to the data um, instead of the hype, I think, is the essence of the presentation here. Uh, oops. So yeah, if you want to learn more about us, um, we have a booth on the fifth floor in the venue of the Marriott. Um, you can come see Covalent there, or you can head to our website, which is where you can get free API keys. I should have mentioned it's free as well. That's kind of a selling point. <laughs> um, and then our Twitter is here, Covalent underscore HQ. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to see everybody today. Come by the booth if you want to talk with me more or have any dis 
discussions on data. And yeah, thanks for having me.